gentlemen, dear friends, good afternoon. My name is Tiffany and today I will be talking about healthy eating. Now, let me ask you all a question. What do you eat for your meals? I bet that most of you eat white rice at least once every day and not think twice about it. Well, Harvard School has found out that eating white rice leads to a higher risk of diabetes. Those from Western countries eat five servings of rice every week, while Asian countries eat three to four servings of rice each day. The study found that the more servings of white rice, the greater the risk. According to the study, the chances of getting diabetes rise by 10% each time you increase the serving of rice. Now, you might say, why? Well, white rice can give you diabetes because of what rice is made of, sugar. Now, don't freak out. I'm not saying to never eat rice ever again. Of course I have a solution. So now, many of you probably like rice because you've probably been eating it for your whole life. So I am not taking that option out. You can still eat rice, just a healthier option of rice. For example, brown rice. The simple difference is that brown rice is the whole rice grain version, while white rice is a heavily processed version. That's why brown rice is healthier, because it is less processed. White rice has been through a long process of bleaching and producing, which is why it's not brown. This process strips the rice of the fiber-rich bran and nutrient-packed dirt, leaving you with the end result, white rice. Though some countries do tend to enrich white rice with additional nutrients such as vitamin B and iron, brown rice is still the healthier option. Turning to compare the glycemic index, which is a measure of how fast your body converts carbs to sugar. For white rice and brown rice, white rice has a higher glycemic index, which means it breaks down carbs faster into sugar which is why eating more white rice is linked to diabetes. Now everyone, just take a moment to think about it. How can I change to a healthier choice? I hope everyone learned something after this speech. I would like to end my speech with Mr. Brown's most famous words. Don't ignore the health of your body, diet, action. Wellness leaders will help innovate and organize scientific knowledge into a new information structure to support the vast wellness needs in our communities by organizing top people talent such as global wellness leaders, bridging the knowledge gap by creating new wellness programs, link science to wellness needs layer by layer by systematizing, simplifying, and visualizing health-related sciences, or SSV science, such as the sciences of agriculture, industry, food and nutrition, cooking, life, and medicine, and through scientific assessment plans, implementation, and various methods of wellness care. There are two types of wellness programs for our community. Community wellness programs for educators, adults, and kids. This program will help the community shop smart and manage wellness. And the Community Wellness Leadership Program for Educators, Adults, and Kids. This program will help link science to the community, lead the community in getting to know the world and to know Canada. To shop smart and manage wellness scientifically, easily, simply, and efficiently, or SESE. -E. We believe science is universal. By removing borders to science and science education, we have the power to bring positive changes and wellness solutions that will improve the quality of life in our communities. Wellness leaders will also help those professionals in health-related science areas to lead the wellness industry by helping the community to link science to daily wellness needs layer by layer. They will help link science to the world and the Canadian community as one family. For example, they will lead the community in helping manage life cycle wellness for seniors, adults, kids, pregnant women, and even babies. They will help us understand our individual wellness needs, choose food wisely according to our individual wellness needs, understand food immune response, manage insensible inflammation in our body, and improve immunity. 
manage immunity, weight, nutritional balance, mineral ratios balance, blood sugar levels, diabetes, gout, and chronic pain. Help our brain, eyes, blood, heart, and skin work for our bodily system in an excellent condition. Understand the science behind our world and wellness industry. Manage our wellness needs from fields, industries, to tables for food safety, quality, and function. Enhanced efficacy management and healthy diet. Know science history and distinguish what is true. Learn about different scientific contributions and understand deeply how our wellness will be benefited. leaders will help develop new wellness programs and events that teach healthy eating habits through three vital steps. They will learn, practice, and lead. This process will drive sustainable development of health-related sciences and industries from farmers' fields to kitchen tables to individual wellness needs. We believe that smart education is the most powerful tool we can use to link science to the community and help make the world healthier. Our children are our future, and investing in their education helps create a brighter future for us all. Kids of all ages, including teenagers, have the gift to create, to understand, to easily attract, inspire, and lead other kids and help them and the community improve their wellness. In fact, many times we've seen that kids are even more effective at this than adults. Family wellness leaders can lead kids in learning wellness for kids under the age of four and help them dialogue in scientific language. Some of our kids leaders created the Kids Wellness Program guided by global wellness leaders and it was a great success.